Hello Sagittarius, how are you? Let's see what energies and messages we have for you today. I hope you're all doing well. Here we go. Queen of Wands, there you are, Sag. Fire energy, fun loving. Hierophant. Long term relationship. King of Cups. There's some loving energy there, well intentioned energy. Eight of Wands. Communication is strong. Temperance. I do see this is between you and somebody from the past. Seven of Swords. I do see you walking away from somebody. Hmm. I feel you're in a internally you're going through some internal conflict. There's an opportunity there. Seven of Wands. Four of Wands. Wow. Well, yeah, here you are, Sage. In a commitment, long term. I feel you're in a relationship at the moment. It's it's fun for you. You're liking it. You're loving it. But this is your challenge card. There's, I feel there's somebody from your past still around you. And the communication between you two is still quite strong. But I feel you're still holding your emotions in with the King of Cups. You're very mature. You're in this energy where, you know, I'm protecting my heart. I was hurt in the past, so now I'm going to protect it. And the problem is when you do that, you're, when we try and control our emotions... It can bring in some conflict within ourselves. You know, your emotions are for this person from the past or with, about the whole situation. You're, you're kind of feeling stable one day and then all of a sudden you're not so sure. And I do feel you're hiding your emotions from this person, you know, you're kind of re resisting going too far. You're putting up healthy boundaries. This this person from the past, you're only letting them in so far. You're not declaring love. You're not declaring much feelings at all. They see this as a very, very good opportunity. But I do see you leaving something behind in the near future and I do I am getting not everybody will agree with this decision there is a, with this person from the past there is an opportunity there you know and at the end of the day there is new beginnings You know, and commitment. Let's pull some more cards. Let's pull some more cards. Yeah, you're kind of keeping your feelings to yourself. You're, you're kind of in restful mode. You know, you're just going from day to day and you're enjoying yourself where you can. You're going out for a drink, you're doing, having a meal or whatever. But you're kind of in that relaxed state at least on the surface you know you're a fun loving person you don't like anything too heavy even in even when you commit to somebody and 
you see the connection as long term, you still kind of like that independent energy about yourself. There's nothing wrong in that. Yeah, this this person from the past, it's coming around again. This, there's a cycle finishing and a new one opening up. That's why I'm getting you walking away from something. I am getting your kind of caught between two potential relationships in your life that have the have the power to go all the way not to total commitment but to to go all the way and last long term on getting for the rest of your life actually and it's I'm getting kind of a win-win situation you whichever one you go for you'll be all right But you are protecting yourself. You're not developing or showing any feeling. You, yeah, you're you're keeping your feelings to yourself. That's for sure. With regards to this connection from the past, anyway. And you're using very, very good judgment. There's there is a decision here. I feel. Yeah, the, the communication with both these people is, is very good and you, your ships have come in you know your ships are docked you've got two ships in the harbour waiting for you which one are you going to climb on whichever one you climb on you, it's a very very strong possibility a long term success here yeah it's you love both these people. You certainly like them a lot. And you know, there's there's balance coming into your life. So whatever happened with this person from the past, not the person you're with now, but with from the person from the past, there's a lot of healing there, a lot of balance coming in between you, and this is new love developing. And I feel your love is split both ways but you're still not showing your emotions to one of them. I hope that you're following that. You will, as I say, it's a win-win situation. You will, you will get victory, whichever way you go. You will, you will get your victory. You will get what you want. And... You know, not everybody will agree with your action. There possibly will be some petty arguments, but you'll rise above that. You'll rise above that. At the end of the day, Sad, you're very, very strong-willed. Um, once you set your mind to it, there's, you know, there's a bulldozer. Couldn't stop you. I feel this person from the past... Is either Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, King of Swords. For some of you, you could be dealing with a legal professional. You could be asking for professional advice. Let's see what this Four of Cups is all about. Yeah, this... I feel this cycle of apathy, you know, making up your mind, this waiting, watching, whoever this is, you or them, is coming to an end. There's going to be an ending. There's going to be a choice here. You know, here's, here's the situation you're in now, which you're putting a, some emotion in, and here's this person from the past, which you're looking at. You're not looking at these, you're looking at this. You're thinking about this. Not all the time, but you're thinking about it. And I do feel like the split love 
situation is going to come to an end and you're going to make a decision and end one or the other. And that, of course, is down to you. It's free will. Yeah, in protecting your heart, you know, you got the moon card. You're putting up healthy boundaries. You're purposely holding back. And, but I feel you will, yeah, you will face your fears. And with the moon card as well, I'm getting these healthy boundaries between you and this person from the past will slowly drop. You see here, even on this seven of ones here, the door is open behind him. So this, there's a choice here. You can either leave that door behind and face the, cha face the challenges or step back inside to the situation that you're in now and close the door. But I feel you're going to close this door for good on one or other of these situations. But I do see forgiveness here. Letting go of bad resentments. Finally letting go, even with this person from the past, whatever's happened between you, you were badly hurt and you're finally letting go of these past resentments. And that as well as is what it's all about. Now, whether you let go of this person from the past permanently and commit to the other, but there's a commitment here. Even in this four of ones, there's a letting go of the past. You see, making a choice. Letting go of the past, letting the new come in. As I said, which ship do you want to climb on, Sagittarius? The one from the past that can lead to happiness or the one that you're in that can lead to happiness? And the challenge is you love both these people. You're not divulging it, but you do. <laughs> I hope that, sorry, I'm not laughing at you. I hope that's helped you in some way. But it's whichever way you go, you, you'll be all right. You know, even with this person from the past, whatever's happened, it will come right. And it still has the potential to give you everything you want and need. I hope that's helped you. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.